BKB before it casts Black Hole. And the pulses from the Clockwork skill just went through and cancelled the black hole, so really well done by the clock, really done, well done by the Mineski team. Meanwhile, Moran is going to right click down the racks, uh, he's out DPSing the Weaver, wow, what? I definitely wasn't expected at this point, meanwhile, clock gets another nice hook in, and a cog trapping the Earthshaker, Moran gets a kill, fucking beautiful play by this clock, May, and Moran gets the melee racks, and with that, the rain tracks is going to fall shortly after, and so too will Nirvana China's hope. And remember, this is the first round of the losers bracket, so with this, Nirvana China would be going home with having not won anything. And Mineski is representing Southeast Asia very well. It's going to take down a Chinese team. The game's not over, but it's, it's. I don't see much of a way for Nirvana China to win unless they get a five-man black hole, and you know, Weaver picks up a rapier. Which might not be a bad idea at this point. Because, yeah. Clockwork is getting hit down quite a bit. He's gonna die. No, stunned by the Earthshaker. Fissure, Hell of Terror. I'm sure the clock will die. Nice cog, but no, Magic Missile will get the kill. Um, Beastmaster throws some the axes of frustration on the Weaver, so wow. Man, I cannot see this coming at all. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Sorry if my voice is not loud. I sort of lost my voice a little bit. Um, but, damn. So, Nirvana China, they might have played a little bit too passively. They waited for the Enigma Ultimates, and biggest mistake, we didn't carry TP scroll, and I don't know who didn't carry that who cancelled that TP when Enigma caught the people in the black hole at the top lane. But, I don't know why he cancelled it. Probably had to, got cancelled by the Fissure or the Cold Fear or something like that. That's why I guess. But that that will cost Nirvana China a match in the International if they cannot hold off this next assault. You know, Beastmaster has a heart pipe, etc. Ancient Apparition picks up the mechanism. He has a Mystic Staff, a Bracer. He's just really, really farmed at the moment. And, you know, Seeking... He has Butterfly and Radiance, and the he sold his Vanguard to pick up the Butterfly, it looks like, and a TP scroll, but he's just not doing as much damage anymore. Um, and he's just being out DPS'd, and this Enigma has been landing pretty good Black Host, solid, but you can't catch the Marana. Marana's always in the right position at the right time, which is definitely what she said, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't work like that. So, looks like Nevada China are going to go for a Smoke Gank. Smoke Ganks are should be expected by Mineski. They are aware that Nirvana China is a little des a little desperate at this point. Let's see if Weaver turned off his radiance. Uh, yeah, turned off his radiance. So Mineski don't really know where Nirvana China is, but that's okay because they have two lanes, <laughs> and Nirvana China has jack shit. So yeah, I think the best thing for Nirvana China to do is try to push the lanes back as far as they can and just go f go for a push down the middle get get the mid racks go for the throne win that that's Nirvana China's best option at this point they can't just keep can't keep pushing out like this they're just smoking around not really accomplishing too much and they're constantly have to defend their base um, maybe send the weaver out to the mid lane and send everybody else out meanwhile an a blast is gonna come in hit a bunch of people helping hurting down the creep wave so much more and Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Mineski team are smoked up. They get uncloaked. Mirana just fires an arrow. <laughs> Potom Ultimate has actually casted, but looks like they're not going to do anything with it. They're just, they're just they have all the time in the world. Fortified. They have two lanes. Nirvana China has jack shit, and they have no tier tower. Meanwhile, Mirana is focusing down the mid racks. If the mid racks falls. Surely good game, as we're all aware. You know, Midnight's Pulse is being casted, but Black Holes catches three heroes again. But where's the Weaver? I can't see the Weaver. Uh, Weaver is in the background. Um, Pound does fall, but they got the melee Rex. They trade the suicide for the melee Rex. Meanwhile, the Earthshaker far falls as well. But now they're just down to the one range Rex. And with this, Nirvana China has no choice. They have to defend that range Rex with all of their lives. They keep pushing back the mid lane, but Ancient Apparition Clockwork are just throwing down so much damage. Constantly keeping the creep wave pushed uh, so they can't keep pushing out. This must be immensely frustrating for Nirvana This is probably like the same way you get when you're playing against a tanker and 
you're not winning, but you're not losing either. Or, yeah, you're not winning, but you can win team fights very carefully. But Tinker just pushes all your lanes. You can't push it without losing your rest of your racks, and you're just like, fuck my life. And meanwhile, the Blink Dagger has been purchased by the Slardar? Did he sell his Blink Dagger? I, I know he picked up a fucking Blink Dagger before. Maybe that was just a misclick. Anyway, swap by the Ventral Spirit and Amplify Damage. And Wild Axe is <laughs> just doing a lot of damage. And Mirana managed to pick up the Ventral Spirit. They managed to pick up the mid tower, but you know, they have to go for the throne. Regardless if they have no Ventral Spirit. But Enigma, most important, doesn't have the Black Hole. Blink in by the Slaughter. Gets a nice crush, getting two people. Sea King is taking so much damage, does die to the Mirana. And Weaver does buy back, but Mirana is just doing way too much damage at this point. Gets a triple kill. Jules fucking raping everybody. And Nirvana China is like, can't deal with this, guys good game called by Nirvana China so Maneski with a shocking victory over the Chinese team okay Nirvana China <sighs> who would have expected it the sort of the least the least likely team to take down a Chinese team just took down a Chinese team so well played by Maneski Nirvana China that missing TP scroll is costing them the game, it's gonna cost them their tournament lives and gonna eliminate them from the losers brackets in round one. How inglorious. Just not gonna be happy. Levine is he's not gonna be too happy, guys. He's not gonna be too happy. Meanwhile the the tree or the fountain or the well or the hand of something is falling and Slardar is gonna the get the last hit and Mineski Mineski dot infinity picks up the Picks up the game, gets the win, and just check out the final creep scores. Um, yeah. 600 by the Marana. Do I need to say anything more? 500 by, 511 by the Weaver, 333 by the Slaughter, but 600 by the Marana. And Marana just farmed her way into victory, and that, that top push, that won Mineski the game. So, wow, really unexpected finish, really exciting game, especially at the ending, and sorry if my voice wasn't sounding the greatest, but yeah, so hopefully y'all enjoyed this, um, let me know if you want me to cast a couple more Dota 2 games, if not, that's fine, I'm gonna leave another video on my thoughts of Dota 2, it should be pretty good, interesting, leave a lot of my insights, and thank you all for watching, and have a fantastic night.